can remember how to turn this thing on. Good. Start. Oh, there we go. Hey, here we go. On our way to 50 pounds lighter. Okay, come join us. Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today I'm here with my trusty friend, the treadmill, <laughs> to announce Dana from Wonderlust Crochet's brainchild called 50 Gone by 2024. Hashtag 50 gone by 2024. Uh, this came up a few days ago. She was on her live and we were discussing how Dana wanted to lose 50 pounds in the next two years, which is extremely achievable. And so she was asking everybody, do you want to jump on board? And we were like, yeah, okay, two years, I can do that. Uh, so I've been on so many different diets and so many different, ugh, I've, I've been on a tread, a different kind of treadmill, let's just say. And the most I've lost is 20 pounds and I didn't keep it off uh, for very long. So for the most part, I am stagnant at 200 pounds. I can't for the life of me seem to drop the weight okay I don't know if it's hormonal I don't know I have no idea but um I used to do keto that's how I lost the 20 pounds but for me it wasn't sustainable um George loves his potatoes and so I was cooking two different types of meals same meal but he would have potatoes, I wouldn't. And then I stupidly licked the spoon of the mashed potatoes. Game over. Game over. Um, I'm, I'm from Irish descent. We love our potatoes. And so that for me was the killer. And then I started thinking, well, okay, Maybe I'll just have rice because rice isn't as bad as potatoes, but it's a starch. It's just, eh. okay. So Dana was talking about how she doesn't want this to be really restrictive. Um, it's pretty much a go at your own pace, but uh, she wants to do six to six and a half pounds every three months. Okay, um, which is, you know, I mean, a lot of people can lose that in a month, right? So to do this every three months, why not? Let's try it. So every three months, she wants to do an update video, right? To say, okay, so this is how we're doing and all that kind of stuff. Um, and kind of just check in, right? And I thought, this is a great idea. So Dana does or did uh, the Atkins diet. I believe she's still doing it. Okay. Um, keto and Atkins is very similar. Okay. So I decided that I was going to order the Atkins book and see the comparisons to keto. And Dana says it's a lot easier than keto. It's le less complicated. Um, and I thought keto was pretty easy. So easier than that? Okay, let's do it. So I talked to George and I said, hey, this is what I'm doing. And if you want to jump on board, great. And he said, I can't give up my potatoes. Okay, fine. You can have your potatoes, but I'm not licking the spoon. <laughs> so <laughs> so <clears throat> basically it's a low carb thing. You know, um, you guys don't have to do that. You do you. You do whatever you want. And uh, it. I'm going to start getting on back on the treadmill. And I'm going to try this Atkins 
thing. Lifestyle, Atkins lifestyle. We we don't like the word diet. Okay, so let's call it, it a lifestyle change. Uh, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, but there's no pressure, right? If you don't lose the weight, you don't lose the weight. It's, it's like, okay, we tried it. But this is supposed to be fun. And we're all getting together to do this. So check in. I, I'm going to put Dana's link down below. Check in with Dana and, uh, and her videos and see what she has to say about it. But I, for me, um, I'm going to do my measurements and my weight. And then I'm going to, I really, <laughs> this is really funny. Uh, all through COVID, the big thing was the hula, weighted hula, 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 hula the weighted hula hoop. I'm wondering if I should get one. I'm a little leery because of my back issues and my hips go out really easy. So eh, not sure. If you have the weighted hula hoop, let me know what your thoughts are because I'm really kind of leaning towards it, you know. Uh, but this, this is going to be my friend for quite some time, I think. I was doing it religiously there for a while and then I just kind of fell off. So <clears throat> what I did before was I tried the pacer challenge and at, with the pacer challenge at the end of the challenge, well, there's the pacer challenge and the, the other challenge. I can't remember what it was called now. I'll put those links down below too. But at the end of it, you get a medal, right? So it was really cool. So I think I've got two medals. I think George has three. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about doing that again because that was, uh, that was a good get up and go kind of thing, right? So I'm thinking about trying that again. And I'm going to take you guys along with me on this journey. And I'm going to keep a log of, you know, not every day weighing myself because that's too stressful. That is way too stressful. But maybe every week I'll do a, you know, a kind of like a check-in update. But at the three-month mark, which is going to be the end of March, we're all going to be doing a check-in. So, yeah. And I mean, I know we're already going into February, but you know what? Who cares? We're going to get this started. All right. So if you're interested in getting in on the hashtag 50 gone by 2024, you know, join in, you know, put comments in my Facebook page and uh, tell me if you're in and um, how much you want to lose. And yeah, and we'll just keep checking in and go to Dana's and talk to her about it as well. Okay, because she's a wealth of information. She really is. I love that woman to pieces. So anyways, okay, so I will talk to you guys soon. And yeah, happy weight loss. <laughs> okay, bye.